bedroom and sleeping, was sleeping around, and I was the one. An idea. An idea. <laughs> Honey, you weren't fooling me. I knew it all along. No, I wasn't. But I just had to put my hand on it. I had to put my hand on it. No, I you wasn't know, fooling you. He was fooling you because I don't have nothing to hide from you. I don't have to, uh, I don't have to agree to anything with you. He have to, he have to answer to you, I don't. Well, that's the fact there. I can agree with you on that, but I tell you this, what you were really doing was wasting your time. Well, not really, you, because as yes, long were. as he was giving me his money, I was all oh right. Oh my God, he was giving you money, honey? Sure was. How would he be able to give you money when I'm getting it all? <laughs> don't believe that. Hey, don't okay. believe that. I've been knowing this man 14 years and have been going with him six years and he's still with me, so how? Everything. Well, as long as he's taking care of me and my child, I wouldn't say that I was giving you everything. Quintel, Quintel, I really doesn't care Quintel, what he why gave did you, you want to tell Mary today? Huh? Why did you want yeah. to tell Mary? Because he, he feel to believe that he can keep doing it without anybody finding out. I don't mess with him no more, because it really, so it really doesn't matter. Because I have somebody. And you so, think you can, one thing, you because, can prove that you were with him? Huh? Can you prove that you were with him? Yes, I can. How? Because for one thing, when he has sex, he sweats a lot. Trust he does. He sweats a lot. Oh my God! Wait a minute. How many of you? Let me just take a little poll. How many of you don't sweat when you have sex? Thank you. Thank you. All right. I mean, wait a minute. No, no. It's it's not. I'm not saying everybody doesn't sweat. It's a certain way that he sweats when he sweats. Quintella, why don't you share with Joseph what you just shared with us and with Mary? I told Mary that man you was fooling around. <laughs> tell the truth. Yeah, tell the Were truth. Why are you fooling around with her? Tell the truth. Nah. Uh. <laughs> She says that she knows for a fact that she slept with you because you sweat a lot. It's a lie. It's a lie? <laughs> you haven't been Don't. sleeping with her for the past four years? Four years. Uh -uh. Can I say something? Yes, please do, Mary. There is a mark on him that has been on him since date of birth and still there. Where is this mark located? I really don't know, but I know one thing. He has stretch marks on his behind and his stomach. <laughs> My gosh. You don't buy it? I mean, Mary, you came out here and you, and you said you knew that it was going on, on. I knew that something was going on between them. Don't get me wrong, okay? But I figured like this. Just because someone's telling me that, oh, she's in a car with him and she's this and that. And that. Okay, I, I socialize with a lot of guys. Don't get me wrong, but none of them disrespect him and they won't get out of the way with me. I have them with an understanding that we're just friends and that's all it is to it, mm -hmm. okay? But there's nothing wrong with him standing up talking to a woman. There's nothing wrong with it at all. But, you know, I trust him. Okay, he may go out there. He may be flirting around. Okay, as a lot of you men do it. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't mean that he has to be sleeping in the bed where there's two types of fooling around now. Mm -hmm. You know. Quintella, what type are you? In the bed. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you're going to tell, I mean, come on here. You're going to tell us that, I mean, he's got stretch marks all over his for back. He's thing, sweating to death. For one thing, if we wasn't sleeping around, I would've, I, why would I get out here and tell you we was when we wasn't? 
It's not like oh he. he it's not like he's a damn good thing in a bed. Oh my god. It's goodness. not like that. <laughs> oh, I wish we didn't have to take a break. But when we come back, she may be the godmother to her best friend's baby, but that doesn't keep her away from her best friend's man. We'll be right back. If I had a best friend who's cheating another very close friend of mine, I'd definitely tell them because I think honesty is really important. I would tell because I value friendships a lot. My friends are like my family. Nope, it's not my business, not at all. I'll just let her deal with it and let them get caught. Thing, including a man, although one friend doesn't know that yet, meets Chardasia. She says that she wants to come clean with her best friend, Levon, that she is sleeping with her man. Now, Chardasia, how did you get involved with Levon's man? Well, it started like, I met Levon in like four years ago, and the next thing you know, she met, this, her, she met her man like a year later. He came to the job I didn't really know he was her man. He came there, he started flirting with me. So I'm the type of girl, I'm gonna flirt back. So next thing you know, he been back and forth until the third or fourth time I realized when she came out, she said, that's Tyrell. I said, that's Tyrell? And so I didn't wanna tell her what he was doing because it was gonna hurt our feelings. We had been close. And then, you know, after a while, he asked me, did it matter who he was? And I said, well, yeah, it matters, that's my friend. So after that, I don't know, he knew, I used to stay over by, by, um, by her in his house. You know, it's not really their house, but it's apartment that their friend have. And after that, you know, things just got out of hand because she trusted me so much with him. So were you sleep still sleeping with him when you found out that he was hers? I knew he was hers before we even got intimate with each other. It just happened. I know, y'all just don't understand. I'm not going to try. No, 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 no. I mean, we don't mean to be coming down hard on you. I mean, we want to hear... No, we don't. <laughs> so, Shardasia, are you still seeing him? Well, boy. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't, I don't, I, we stop, but it's for a reason, and our, a reason we stop. What's the reason? I, I'll, I'll say it, I'd rather say that to her. After she comes out? I'd rather say it to her, depending on her reaction All right. to it. Okay, me. well, we're gonna, we're gonna get LaVon now, so you can tell her. Hang on. Let's remember, everyone, that they were brave enough to come on and do this. So let's give them some respect, okay? Now, we have LaVon here. You want to meet LaVon, everyone? Yeah. LaVon, come on out. Yeah. Hi, LaVon. Shardasia, why don't you tell her what you have to tell her? <sighs> LaVon. You and I have been friends for like, you know, four years. And, you know, your family's like my family and all that, but, you know, your man, he ain't all that. What you talking about? Uh, um, uh, uh, about six or seven months after you and him was dealing with each other, <laughs> we started becoming very, you know, intimate, intimate with each other. And it's been going on now for the past two years. I tried to, you know, like, get away from you when I moved to Connecticut. I tried to get away, but you found me, and it's like I said, I said, you know, just, you know, I wanted to just get away because I didn't want to tell you. I know it hurt you, but you found me somehow. It was like, you know, I can't continue to be your friend without you knowing this. <sighs> um, and I like to know. You know, does this change? I mean, I know I'm the godmother and everything of your of your daughter, and you 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 my son's godmother. But you know what? You know, I like to know what you think right now. What do you think right now, Levon? <laughs> mm. 
What shall I think? Hmm? First of all, don't think that it's all me because your man is sleeping with everybody in Brooklyn. All right? So don't think it's all me. Okay, that don't, that don't excuse what I did, all right? But it's like this. You know he cheating, all right? You know he cheating. You told me you think he cheating and all that. So don't think he's been faithful and he just did it because of me. He's a dog. Wait a minute. Let's get this straight. First of all, this is an ego thing, okay? Listen, listen, listen. listen you listen. are lying. Please, you lying. please, ladies. You're lying. Why are you lying? Don't do it. Thank you for staying with us. We cut out early because you heard some terrible news and I'm sorry that you had to hear it here. But I just, I want you to know that violence is never the solution and won't be tolerated here. Okay? <laughs> what, what is going through your mind right now? I mean, is your friendship, I mean, she came here sincerely, I, I, I think sincerely, to tell you so that she could come clean with your friendship and not have any secrets or lies. First, it's just the ego thing with her. She want everything. She thinks she can have everything she want. Me and this boy have been together for, the four, for four and a half years. He been with me. She did it to other people, yes. She might have she messed with him, but he not her type. Mm -hmm. So I, I say he ain't messing with her. That's what I'm saying. But all of it will come out. All of it will come out. The truth will be told. All right. So now that the truth has been told, what can my guests today do with this information that their boyfriends have been sleeping with their best friends? With us right now is Carol Botwin, author of Tempted Women, Passions, Perils, and Agonies of Female Infidelity. What do you want to add today? Well, I want to talk to LaVon. I mean, we, we have here four women who are obviously angry and upset, which is a very natural human as reaction well as to they that should kind. be. Yes, they should be. And uh, Levon keeps saying it didn't happen, which is very common to women in this kind of situation. They deny what's really sometimes in front of their nose because they really don't want to know. And I think Levon and all of these women have to face the facts and decide what they want to do with the rest of their relationship. Levon, you want to go on with this relationship? I mean, it's something she probably has to think about. I can't answer that question. Yeah, right I don't blame you. Yes. Uh -huh. First of all, I think it's bad enough that men will sleep with, I mean, women who know that these guys have women and they still take it upon themselves to sleep with them. That's number one, what's wrong with all these females today. First of all, y'all got to realize that if the man is taking, he's off limits to y'all, okay? Off limits, point blank, period. Y'all have to have more pride in yourself as women, have more scruples as women to, to say, how could y'all even do something like that? That's, that's disgraceful, point blank, period. Well, it's I would like to point to, as, a, as an expert here, I would also like to turn my attention to the guys involved here because who are they to begin with? They have, they have all these women fighting over them. They have slept with, with the women's best friends. What are you fighting over? Really, a guy who's going to do it again with somebody else if the other woman gets it? The yes, same Mary, what do you want to say? Something? Yes. Okay, just like earlier, talking to her. Okay, I said, can you prove this? Okay, I mean, it's like this movie, Crush. How many of y'all seen this movie, Crush? Here it is, this 28-year-old man and this 14-year-old girl setting this man up, claiming she's got all these things going so on with this man. So is that what you're saying this is? So what I'm Pretella? saying is, it's the crush thing. And it has always have been. But yet, she can't tell me anything, anything to prove to me that she have been in bed with him. She cannot tell me anything that can prove that. Words is easily said. Stand up, please. Words for one say. thing, I shouldn't have to prove myself to you. A I'm you sorry, gotta prove man. when you stick a statement. Ask your so-called man. Ask your so-called man. Because so so if it was all man, yours, I, okay. wouldn't, I wouldn't be sleeping okay. with him. For one thing, I, it really 
it doesn't matter because like I said before, long as he take care of me and my child, I'm all right. Long as I'm getting them ends, I'm fine. Okay. You don't get all his money. Okay. Don't believe that. He don't have any money, so how you getting his money? We'll be right back after this. Joseph, a question. Hey, Joseph, we got a question for you. Joseph, you've been quiet through this whole thing. Are you really having an affair with this lady? Wait a minute. What was that? What was that, Joseph? Stand up and say that again, if you would. Say, so, uh-uh. Uh-uh. So, you're, you, no, you've never slept with this woman. You know, Ricky. Uh -uh, I ain't never slept with her. Ricky, having written also a book about male infidelity, the male, the male motto is always deny, deny, deny. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I have a question for this lady right there. Which one? There's four of them. The one in the middle, the third one. Mary. Mary. Okay. Mary, sweetheart, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You take your man home, you work your problems out. Oh, yes. And you don't worry about slut like oh, her, because they got them out there. That's right. I just want to say, I think the problem is, the problem is not with the women. The problem was with the men involved. Now, 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 the women that were out here before, just keep in mind, there is nothing more gratifying to a man's ego than to have two attractive women fight over him. And they're just sitting back. Your friends are the ones that had to tell you. You're sitting up there taking the heat now from the psychiatrist. And they're just sitting there in the front row with their women. And they're the ones who are at fault. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Stand up. I say get rid of the friends and the men. Wait, wait, say that again. I don't think everybody heard. Listen to our advice, everyone. Get rid of the friends and the men. We'll be right back. Joe's Captain brought to you by. It should be an unwritten rule between women. You don't go after your friend's man no matter what. There are plenty of other fish in the sea. And anyway, if he's going to cheat with you, he's probably going to cheat on you down the road as well. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Promotional fees have been paid by the following. <laughs>